Yeah, so the question was, the, 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 the Tyrannosaurus overlap with, with Megalodon, the giant sharks. Uh, in terms of the, the, great, the really giant sharks of Megalodon, uh, Carcalis Megalodon, is after the dinosaurs. Carcalis was, was, was a Cenozoic fish, a Cenozoic shark. There were some big sharks in the uh, Lake Cretaceous. Some of them were comparably big to the Great White. None of them got to the size of Megalodon, but there were marine predators that were as big as Megalodon, but they were reptiles. So some of the Mosasaurs, which are honest to goodness sea lizards, I mean, they're not just lizards metaphorically, they are lizards, they're part of the lizard family tree, uh, got really big, and especially uh, the Pliosaurs, which are a type of Plesiosaur, and most of us, if you know Plesiosaurs, they have a tiny little head, long neck, big barrel body with, with paddle fins, these aren't them. <laughs> the Pliosaurs are the ones with gigantically, enormously huge heads, short necks, and then that same body profile. And those ones got even bigger, like three times probably the mass of Tyrannosaurus, some of the largest reptilian predators of all time. Shh, I didn't say that out loud because I'm not supposed to say it. Okay, so the Tyrannosaurus were good. Tyrannosaurus have been superlative, but really the Pliosaurus were. Do we know if they lay eggs or had live birth? Or? Ah, we do not yet actually have Tyrannosaurus us or Tyrannosaurus in eggs, but all the dinosaurs, uh, we have found eggs for every major group of dinosaur. Um, and none of the living archosaurs, birds or crocodilians, do not lay eggs, have retained the young in the body. There are many, many dinosaurs, snakes and lizards that do, but none of the archosaurs. Um, and so it seems reasonable to think that all dinosaurs had um, eggs outside the body. In fact, their eggs were crispy eggs. They would have had a crispy shell the way a bird shell is, not a leathery egg the way a, um, say, a lizard has. Yes? Um, you said that there were a few other creatures that had the same body force about as T Rex. Yeah. Right. Um, good catch. Uh, so that, that uh, I mentioned there's some other animals that might have comparably strong body forces to T Rex. There was an early fish called Dumbleosteus. Um, it's from long before the dinosaurs. Uh, it's, its jaws look kind of like staple removers, honest to goodness. Uh, those guys seem to have had really impressive bite forces that are in the same general range as Tyrannosaurus. And the problem with all this sort of pillow, these biomechanical estimates, you look at a number, but really so many of the variables involved have uncertainty to them that you can't really accept that number, that gives you the ballpark. And so if you're in the same range, you know, maybe this guy's overestimated, this guy's underestimated, so maybe they're actually the same. So um, that's one of the few animals that has that kind of bite force. No living animal has ever been measured that has a Tyrannosaurus strength bite force. And I actually talked to the, the kids at the zoo at two today, and the estimate showed that Tyrannosaurus could probably bite through uh, a van, a move, uh, not a movie, uh, you know, a minivan, probably not through an SUV because those are more heavily reinforced, and almost certainly not through a tank. Uh, as teeth would just get shattered all over the place. We do know one thing that teeth could bite through. Well, a couple of things. We know it could bite through the horns of Triceratops. We know it could bite into the armored head of Ankylosaurs because there is a skull of an armored ankylosaur, an Asian one, that has a bite mark from a tarbosaurus that went into it. So and that's like the thickest armor any, any of the dinosaurs ever evolved, and T-Rex could also could pierce that. With, it broke the tooth off, so unfortunately, it can't pierce it on a regular basis, but you didn't wait there. What's the earliest known dinosaur now? The earliest known dinosaur? Uh, the earliest in time? Yes. Yes, tricky question. And it's a tricky question because there's an animal called Niassosaurus from the Middle Triassic. So before, earlier, because my, my slides are actually out of date, slightly, slightly. Earlier this year, this animal has been known for a while, but the only first real discovery, uh, the first description of it just came out this last year. It's from about 235 million years ago. The problem is it's so primitive and there's not enough of its skeleton, we can't say for certain it is a true dinosaur or the closest thing to being a dinosaur, but not a dinosaur. It's right around that part of the family tree. 